New York City has the most segregated school system in the country. A majority of New York City public schools are over 90% black and Latino. These students consistently perform worse than white students at suburban public schools on standardized tests. This is called the achievement gap. In recent years, as schools have gotten even more segregated, that gap has only widened. New York City high school students Nelson and Whitney knew that their education wasn't equal, and now they're doing something about it. The students who come from low-income neighborhoods end up going to the same schools, and that tends to be students of color. White students end up going to affluent schools that are like the best in the city. When you look in your community, your neighborhood, there's like mostly kids who look just like you. A few months ago, Nelson and Whitney met education activist Taylor McGraw and started a movement called Teens Take Charge to address segregation and inequity in New York City schools. Teens Take Charge just has the idea of like education inequity and the situation where, you know, the school system is segregated. There's problems and we're trying to amplify our voices and say that, you know, our voice matters as students. They began by hosting events where they expressed themselves and their concerns through spoken word poetry. Kids from the Bronx, Manhattan, Brooklyn, and Queens are in different classifications as we're living in a hierarchy of education. We're in American society, the wealthy are on top, and, and we're, we're feeling, feeling like a skipped, skipped over bus stop. stop. Teens Take Charge has two goals. First, to create a student committee on the Department of Education's leadership team so that kids finally have a voice. And second, to create a school admissions process that is fair so that more students of color can get admitted to New York City's best performing high schools. Our voices are not implemented in the system at all. They are interacting with students and they're hearing them, but these students aren't the ones making the decisions. We have to go out, out of our way to share our experiences, share our testimonies, and you know, diversity makes change and that changes people's minds. Their spoken word poetry events caught the attention of the New York Times. Now they're spreading their message through appearances on McGraw's education podcast, The Bell, as well as community events and panel discussions with the Department of Education. That as a student of color, we have to work a hundred times harder compared to white students who go to a school in the Upper East Side because we're at a disadvantage. Because of Nelson and Whitney's efforts in high school, they're both on their way to great colleges. I actually find out tomorrow after seven, and it's for Columbia University, an early decision to. I eat pizza at um, Mahoyo College in South Haddon, Massachusetts. And honestly, my decision is coming soon. I'm not really sure. You got this, Whitney? Yo, yeah, what? Relax, relax. Relax, come on. I'm first generation because my parents didn't go. It's crazy. It's not only for myself. It's just like, I feel like I'm inspiring my little brothers. I'm inspiring people who's gone through as much as I've gone through in my life, who are low income background, who are students of color. Like, I feel like I have a lot of people um, doing this for, not just myself. I'm Nelson. And I'm Whitney. And, and this, this is C-Sick Charge. Rally on.